This video will demonstrate the Zoom feature called Companion Mode that allows you to use your laptop with your neat frame in the Zoom meeting. Uh, the two advantages of this are to view uh, shared content on your laptop, so you can see it on a bigger screen, and also the remote room controls that are available on your laptop to control your neat frame. So to get started, if I hover my mouse over this icon here, it'll come up and say, uh, pair with a Zoom room or Zoom for home device. Click on that. That'll pair to the neat frame. That does that automatically via ultrasonic proximity detection. Get a message saying we're paired. So I have a meeting here on my calendar, which is also on the neat frame. If I click on start, it gives me the option to start from my computer like a normal Zoom meeting or start from room, which will join the meeting and start it from my neat frame. You can see joining meeting on the neat frame coming up there. Uh, the meeting is called frame companion mode. So the first thing that I notice is that there's a couple of um, non-video participants in the Zoom meeting here. One of them being my own laptop, the other one being my test. Uh, so my own laptop comes into the meeting. So I'm actually in the meeting twice on the frame and on my laptop. So to make this look a bit better on the frame, just tap on the screen to bring up the menu. Tap on more down the bottom here. Tap on manage participants. Tap on more. And there's a setting here that says hide non-video participants. Just makes it look a lot cleaner, cleaner for my view on the frame. So the next thing I'll do is over here on my test laptop, I'll share my screen. It's going to bring up the neat web page. And that content sharing comes up on the frame and my laptop. So on the frame, you do have pinch to zoom. Very responsive. You can move that around. So you can make that bigger if you want. You can also change the view to have that um, as part of a gallery. So you can see video in the same size as the content, or you can have it as a thumbnail. So the content goes up the top. The advantage here on my laptop with companion mode is if I click on this uh, expand button here, it makes the content that's shared nice and big. So I can separate that from my frame just to look at the shared content on my laptop. And obviously having a big second monitor, I could drag and drop that zoom um, shared content onto my second monitor to, e to view it on an even bigger screen. Um, I'm not doing that for this video just because it's easier to record on my laptop screen. The other thing I can show you, um, I'll just make that go big again, sorry. On the frame, if you tap on the frame, you get this little pencil icon and that allows you to annotate. So yeah, so we can just draw a circle there and you'll see that come up on everyone's um, laptop or whoever's in the meeting will see this annotation. You might want to do some shapes in a different color. So Zoom will automatically change that to a nice shape. Um, if you want to turn the shape feature off, you can obviously just do freehand. Yeah, so the annotation works perfectly uh, from the frame. So that's an advantage there of having a touch screen. So I'll stop sharing from my test computer and I'll exit um, the full screen mode here so that I've got the room controller controls here. So this will actually mute the frame. You'll see the menu pop up on the frame there. This will stop the video from the frame. Um, we can start that back up. The only other thing to show you is sharing. So I would use the share button from down here. So this is like you're in a normal Zoom meeting on your laptop. You share your screen, and this gives you the option to share your full desktop or any applications that you might have open. So you can share that. So that's now got this little text application here, sharing on my frame and on everyone else's um, laptop who's in the Zoom meeting. I'll stop sharing there. And the last thing to show you is the end or leave. So remember, this is controlling the frame. So if I click leave, that will just make the frame leave the meeting, which is cool. You might want to do that. And it'll leave my laptop in the meeting. But if I want to end the meeting for everyone, I can use the controls here on my laptop. So I can leave from the room, leave from my computer, or end the meeting for all, which I'll just do now. And that's a good demonstration there of companion mode with our neat frame in a Zoom meeting.